Okay, folks, straight up, you will see the jumpers have left the helicopter. Our first jumper announcer for this afternoon for the Black Daggers. And we got a good shoot. That's always nice to see. back, legs straight, as they rapidly approach terminal velocity at speeds in excess of 120 miles an hour. These jumpers will fly their bodies, much like a high-performance aircraft, using their hands, arms, and legs as flight controls. You'll now notice the formation is built and we have a single column of smoke. At a predetermined altitude, the team leader will give the signal for these jumpers to turn 180 degrees and glide away from each other to allow for a safe deployment of their main parachutes. The two jumpers falling together are now performing a barber pole maneuver, spinning and spiraling smoke through the sky for you. Watch as they break off. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, the high-flying colors of your USASOC parachute team, the Black Daggers. Parachutes used by our demonstration team today are in fact flexible wing gliders. They're made of a lightweight ripstop nylon and have an inherent forward air speed of 20 miles per hour. These parachutes are controlled through a series of steering lines that run from the tail of the parachute down to the jumper's hands. To turn left, the jumper simply pulls down on the left steering line. To turn right, the jumper will pull down on the right steering line. As the jumper approaches the ground, he will pull down simultaneously on both steering lines causing a dynamic flare of the parachute and allowing for a safe, soft landing. As you may have guessed, these jumpers are faced with a unique situation, a virtual traffic jam in the sky. They must gain vertical separation in order to allow for individual approaches into the target area. This is accomplished by the jumper pulling down on the front part of his parachute, causing it to spiral at speeds in excess of 60 miles per hour. This allows them to set up a stack, much like you might see at a busy airport.
these jumpers maneuver their parachutes through the sky, they must constantly maintain altitude awareness, as well as their relative location to the target. At 1,000 feet, the jumpers will perform a wind penetration check, which allows them to determine the speed and flight characteristics of their canopy under today's current conditions. As the jumpers enter the target area, they will fly a downwind leg, a base leg at 90 degrees to the target, and then turn and face into the wind on their final approach into the target area. Watch as our first jumper nears the target, shifting his concentration to the small black dot in the center of this target. He's letting it fly, he's setting up a little bit high, he's going to try and sink into the target. For a beautiful target landing. Give him a hand, ladies and gentlemen. Our second jumper set up a little bit far back. He's going to put his hands up to the keepers and let his parachute fly as he shuts it down for another beautiful landing. Now, if I may direct your attention high overhead once again, it may appear as, these, as though these jumpers have become entangled. That is not, in fact, the case. They're performing a facet of the sport known as canopy relative work. With the advanced aerodynamic design of today's modern ram air parachutes, it is actually possible to fly the parachute right up to the hands of another jumper. Once connected, these jumpers can simply climb down the steering lines of his partner and stand on his shoulders. It is possible for them to even have a conversation, much like you or I standing here on the ground. The formation you see here is known as a tri-by-side. as these jumpers set up on their approach. They will once again turn this formation into what is known as a down plane to burn off altitude and allow them to set up their final approach into the target area. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, the down plane. If you think it is difficult to land one parachute on this small target, imagine doing it with three, as these jumpers will now do. As they near the ground, you'll hear the team leader yell a command break, which signals for them to separate and land safely in the target area. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Three more beautiful landings. Give them a hand.